Good evening friends, this is regarding the heart which is the most important organ in the body. Every person has got to live with this splendid heart beating right from the birth to the death. This most important organ for living in this world is beating incessantly every minute 72 to 90 beats per minute. It has to go on and on and on for a best and the healthy living. The most important cause of death in the world, in the persons is the stopping of this beating heart. If this heart stops beating for 3 to 5 minutes, automatically the person becomes brain dead because this heart has to give regular blood supply to the entire body including the brain. If this brain does not get the blood circulation for 5 minutes from the heart pumping, automatically the brain stops working and the person becomes brain death. Hence, friends, you have to understand to keep this heart going and very important to know that to keep this heart healthy for not only the entire body's uh, circulation, but the most important is to prevent a brain death. Once the heart stops beating or there is a cardiac standstill, we call it ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia, where the effective blood circulation to the brain stops for 5 minutes, the brain will not be revived again. Hence, it is very important to understand what is cardiac arrest and why it happens. Why cardiac arrest should happen to make a person death? dead and the brain dead. If this heart can be revived within 3 minutes to 5 minutes of the cardiac standstill or the cardiac arrest immediately without any delay, then the brain can be revived and the entire circulation can get back to normal and a dying patient can start living by the efforts of the bystanders. Hence, it is very important to understand what is cardiopulmonary research station. Every person should know how to revive this heart when it stops functioning and there is a fainting or the sudden death happening to the person to revive this heart. That is one part of a very important basic fundamental course which should be given to all the graduates and the undergraduates from the school passing out to understand what is the cardiopulmonary resuscitation and giving the first hand important resuscitative measures to a heart attack or to a heart death patient. That is one part of it. The second part is very important to understand that how to keep this heart going and healthy. This heart has to pump and this muscle pump has to get the blood circulation regularly from three important major arteries that is the pipelines which supply the blood to the heart. This heart muscle cannot survive without getting oxygen for less than 20 seconds. If the oxygen supply is stopped from these pipelines which are supplying to the heart muscle for 20 seconds, automatically the heart becomes dead the heart muscle becomes dead and the heart starts fibrillating. Hence, dear friends, you need to understand to keep these pipelines very clean, very smooth and avoiding any kind of junk or any kind of cholesterol or any kind of fats depositing into the arteries to cause any kind of blockages. You have to understand how to prevent these blockages happening into the blood circulation of the heart muscle that is the coronary arteries. Once we get these coronary arteries absolutely clean by different means and methods, 
our living is healthy, happy and forever. Hence friends, I need to tell you exactly as the senior cardiologist working in Apollo Hospital Hyderabad, I must give you this basic tips to keep your heart healthy and keep your life healthy and happy. These are the fundamental basic a few tips, very simple tips to understand. First thing and the foremost thing is to understand when we are born as a newborn babies, we have absolutely clean and smooth blood circulation, the arteries are absolutely clean, the endothelium, the inner layer of the arteries are absolutely slippery and clean, nothing sticks to them. I am going to show you a few of the pictures of the heart of the blood circulation so that you can understand how the fat and the junk food which we eat daily goes into the blood circulation and deposits. Now dear friends, I have to explain about the clean arteries blood circulation, how it gets hampered and how the arteries get choking. It starts from the birth and after the birth the arteries are very clean by the age of 3 years. The fatty food which we eat starts depositing into the inner layer of the arteries, the blood circulation. And by the age of teen years, by the teen, these arteries that is the blood circulation of the heart muscle and the major artery which is called as aorta gets the deposition of the cholesterol, the method, the process of the cholesterol deposition inside the arteries is known as atherosclerosis and I am going to show you few of the pictures and the caricatures how these arteries are getting slowly and gradually deposition of the cholesterol causes gradual thickening of the uh, arterial lumen and the blood circulation gets slowly slowly hampered and the lumen gets narrow and narrower and narrower. Slowly by the time the person reaches 20, 25 years or 30 years of age, every coronary has got some amount of atherosclerosis, some amount of cholesterol deposition. But if our lifestyle is bad and we eat heavy, very heavy cholesterol laden food that is junk foods and unnecessary heavy cholesterol containing that is saturated fat in our daily routine. Uh, eating habits and avoid the exercises and the regular lifestyle modifications. These arteries get cholesterol deposited and cause atherosclerosis. The stages of atherosclerosis from stage 1, 2, 3, 4, I will show you in the pictures and finally when the artery gets depositing up to 30, 40 percent, there are fat depositions, fatty layers depositing inside there are macrophages and different kinds of blood cells which gets deposited platelets and the coagulation and finally that ruptures the plaque we call it a plaque and the rupturing of the plaque causes the blood vessel to become a thrombus that is a blood clot and inside the blood clot in the artery causes complete occlusion 100 percent stoppage of the blood circulation to the heart muscle causing a major heart attack and this major devastating heart attack will take away the life of the young persons and we in India are in a very bad situation. The heart attack is going like worse pandemic than any other disease in the world. The most important part of the heart attack is it happens in Indian population in a very young age by the age of 20, 25, 30 years we get early heart attacks much much earlier than any other western population. Hence friends we need to understand that right from the childhood how to maintain our lifestyle, how to reduce the deposition of the cholesterol into the arteries of the heart muscles and how to prevent a major heart attack happening at the age of 25 to 30 years which is the most disheartening condition for the country as well as the family as well as the society. I must tell you as a senior cardiologist that these are the most important preventable factors. 
which can be prevented easily by a little cautious effort from the society and from every one person's basic responsibility to take care of the healthy food. The most important is plant based food that is green vegetables, fruits, salads, sprouts and avoiding all kinds of junk food and fats into the diet like saturated fats and plant based foods are the best food to prevent any kind of cholesterol deposition into the arteries and the clean blood circulation will give you a healthy and happy life forever. But there are certain conditions like genetically predisposed heart attack conditions. In some of the families like if you say in general society about 1 in 200 to 1 in 500 person will be born with a genetic predisposition we call it familial dyslipidemia. There are two types one is heterozygous familial dyslipidemia and one is homozygous familial dyslipidemia. The heterozygous familial dyslipidemia is very rampant and very common in Indian population it is 1 in 200 for the general population. And when you have a familial history like any one of your family members or your grandparents, parents, uncles and first relative, first grade relatives of your family got a heart attack at the age of 50 or below 50 years of age, then you are also at a very great risk of getting an early heart attack with the basic bad habits at the age of 20 or 30. So this heterozygous familial dyslipidemia can be detected by early detection of cholesterol in the blood circulation. Hence, every person those who have a strong family history should have their cholesterol checked at the age of 11 years, 10 to 15 years the first cholesterol, those who have a bad family history and normally below the age of 20 years every person should get their cholesterol checked. Hence. Friends, if your cholesterol, total cholesterol is more than 200 milligram per deciliter and your LDL which is the bad cholesterol, low density lipoprotein is more than 150 milligram per deciliter, it is a very mandatorily very, very bad condition and promisingly you need to bring down the LDL cholesterol and the total cholesterol less than LDL cholesterol less than 70 milligram per deciliter and the total cholesterol less than 130 milligram per deciliter if you have a family history and if you have a high grade bad habits in your family like the prevention of these cholesterol depositions can be done not only by reducing the cholesterol intake but by some medications also which are available and which are advised nowadays along with the lifestyle modification, along with the dietary habits, good dietary habits, those are known as statins. Nowadays statins are prescribed and they are FDA approved and they are ACC and AHA guideline approved therapy for familial dyslipidemia to prevent the first heart attack at the age of 25 or 30 or 40. These are all preventable factors when the lifestyle modification cannot reduce the cholesterol completely to the level of normal tendency to not to get cholesterol deposited that is LDL below 70 milligram per deciliter and total cholesterol below 150, 130 milligram per deciliter. These levels has to be maintained at longitudinally that means entire lifespan that is from the age of 20 to the age of 70, 80 years that means the entire lifespan of 40, 50 years the total cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol if it can be reduced to the level of less than 70 and less than 130 I think the every person can prevent a major heart attack, a major brain stroke and major cardiovascular and CVA occurrence in the entire length of life of the person preventing a major catastrophe in the family and 
having a very good healthy life hence friends be aware of these factors and these are for the general awareness for the complete society the entire society to have a healthy lifestyle one more important thing the last comment i would like to say that if a person thinks that nowadays people think that cancer is a major issue for the death and people are thinking that other conditions are major issue but not if you say all types of cancers put together today the heart attack is the major cause of the death in the young people and in the elderly and old people also as compared to any other cancer or any kind of diseases like road traffic accidents also put together the death rate for the heart attack and the cardiovascular death rate is the most important factor and the highest number of people die early in their livelihood earning ages when their family is dependent on them and they lose their life that is the most sinister and the most heartbreaking kind of situation we are going through in india and these are all preventable by improving our awareness the society should do lot of awareness programs for this for the youngsters for the school children for the college going children and they should have a good education about the life sciences to prevent how to go and prevent a heart attack thank you so much